Hello and welcome back to another daily A-level maths exam question. For today's video and today's question here, we do have a question on the harmonic identities. These are sometimes called the R formula. It really doesn't matter what you call it though. Just make sure that you answer the question correctly. Okay, so let's just work through this question together and let's see how we get on. So for this question then, all we want to do here is express two cos theta minus sine theta in this form here. And I won't bother reading out the rest of the waffle. It's all pretty standard stuff. All right, so basically what we're saying here then is we can express 2 cos theta minus sine theta in this form here. So where do we begin then? So to begin with here, then let's just take r cos of theta plus alpha and use the compound angle formula to express this in its expanded form. And what we get here then is the following. So unfortunately, I can't write this in one line, which would be nice, but like I said, slight limitations of recording this in a short format. But basically we get r cos theta cos alpha minus r sine theta sine alpha. So Let's just put this equal to then 2 cos theta minus sine theta. And putting these equal to each other then, we obtain the following here. Now, what I want to do at this point here is just equate coefficients, right? So if we do that then, what we'll get here is the following. So what I get then is r cos alpha is equal to 2. And just know it's here then how I'm using colour to show you how these coefficients match. And what I also get here then is r sine alpha is equal to 1 again. Just notice how I'm using this colour here to show you how these match. So what we can now do here then is use some basic trigonometric identities. If we do that, we obtain the following. So we have r sine alpha over r cos alpha is equal to one over two, just using these here, right? And r sine alpha over r cos alpha is just the same then as tan alpha, right? Just a basic trigonometric identity. So tan alpha here is equal to one over two. And if we just want alpha here, right? We just take tan inverse of one over two, which gives us 26.57 degrees there to two decimal places. Perfect. So that's the value of alpha here. And then finally, for the value of r here, this is just a straightforward application of Pythagoras, right? So this is just the square root then of, so it's two squared. I get two squared plus then minus one squared, which is just the same as one squared anyway, but just be precise here. That is forward. That's one. That's root five there. So to finish with then, let's just put all of this together here. And putting this all together, then what we get here is 2 cos theta minus sine theta is identical to root 5 cos of theta plus 26.57. And there we go then. Nice and easy. That gives us the solution to today's question.